Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is just a quick message about my coaching sessions I have available right now with a pick a card angel message. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my coaching and what it is. And this is something I just unveiled a couple months ago and I only have a certain number of spots available each month for my coaching services. But what it is, is it's basically five weeks, maybe even six or seven weeks, because sometimes I do draw it out a little bit. But basically every week or so, I'm sending you a video message or we're Skyping. And um, this is about whatever topic you want. Um, it could be your goals. It could be about um, trying to start your own business, anything. I have some clients that have just wanted to grow in their worthiness and their self-esteem and self-love. And so we're working on that. I have a couple clients actually who want to start their own uh, healing channels and their own YouTube channels. So I'm helping them get their channels started. And, um, and I even have some clients who are just like on a healing journey or even just some people just wanted to purchase a discounted package of readings because they're purchasing from me so often. And then some people just wanted the opportunity to talk to me every week. And so it really just depends what you want. Um, and the thing is, is I don't allow you to just purchase the coaching package. It's up on my website at promiseharmony.com slash services. And so I'll put the link to it down below. You can click on it and you can read about it. But in order to purchase the package, you have to actually have to email me. I have a couple questions I want you to fill out. And then we're just going to see if you're a good fit. And if it's what your goals are is something I can help you with before we get started. But yeah, um, it's really been awesome. I've been teaching and coaching and mentoring people for over 13 years now, actually, in health and in um, education and safety and spirituality. And, and so it's pretty cool. I'm absolutely loving this. And so some people are wondering, like, what are some of the things we do during our coaching sessions? Well, obviously I have my card. So every session I do a general reading for you or answer any questions that you have. Um, and then whatever your goals are, I'm trying to help give you resources for that. And so as part of that, I do link you to some outside resources. Um, and there's also kind of a routine that I have a lot of my clients get on, which involves doing um, meditations and affirmations and also some journaling. So that is part of it. There's like homework assignments for each week to just help you stay in your body and stay in the flow and really to just boost your energy and boost your fre frequency. And so honestly, however I can assist you, I'm an empath, I'm also a really good listener. I know sometimes it's just important to have someone to talk to, to just bounce ideas off, or to just be validated for whatever it is you're going through. And so um, I am just really chill and just kind of, you know, lighthearted. And I think one of the things that I do really good at is I don't judge people. I've been through so much in my life and I have so many different clients from all over the world, different backgrounds, whatever it is you're going through, I'm here for you. And I think that's why a lot of people come to me and also go to clairvoyant consultants and psychics, and life coaches and stuff like that, because um, maybe there's something you just feel like you can't handle on your own or you don't wanna tell other people about or you just, you wanna kind of tell it a secret or like, you know, know that you can trust somebody with what it is you're going through. And so it's like a safe place with me to go through whatever it is you're going through or to reveal anything you need to reveal. And then some people just have fun kind of chilling with me every week and just talking about stuff and, and we just pull some cards. And so it doesn't have to be a big deal. It can be basically whatever you want it to be. So anyways, that's my coaching. And you can check the link below. I have four more spots left and um, the spots will fill up fast. Um, the price is $333, but actually if you add up what it would be to Skype with me five times or do a video message with me five times, which is what the package is, um, that would actually be over $500. So I've cut the price in half, actually even lower than in half for you guys. So this is a way to get a discounted package of readings or to get some coaching. Um, and I feel like my coaching for what I'm offering, the price is very competitive. So if you're feeling called to do it, go for it. Um, and then just purchasing a regular reading from me, just one session is almost like a coaching session anyways. So if you just you aren't able to purchase the coaching session, just keep it in mind because every 
um, six weeks or so, I announced that I have spots open. So if you can't get it this time, maybe sometime in the future. So yeah, go ahead and email me and we'll see if you're a good fit and I would love to work with you. And th that is the answer to all the questions you guys have been asking about the coaching, just to clarify. So um, um, you can view it on my website. I actually was gonna have you guys pick a card, but what I'm actually feeling is that this is a message for everyone right now. So I'm gonna read this out and then I'll allow you guys to pick a card again. <laughs> with um, Actually, maybe with my Wildwood deck. So first of all, what I'm seeing is like, it's time to have hope. Um, right now, what's really important for all of us is more me time. And so this is about finding clarity in your life. Some people are really worried when it comes to their love life right now. This is intimacy and communication. So maybe you're just not really in good communication with your partner right now, or you're out of communication with a soulmate or a twin flame or something. And they're saying, this is so you can find a new perspective. If you're in separation from someone you love or feeling kind of like a, a rift or something, just allow this as a time for yourself to find perspective on the relationship. There's a reason for this pause, for this break is what I'm seeing. Um, another message that's coming out for you guys is to just simplify things right now. That's how I've honestly gotten so many things done in my life. Um, I used to be so overwhelmed by just so many options and choices in life and not like really knowing what direction to go. But just by following what my passion de passions and desires were and just doing one little thing a day towards my dreams, whether that was like emailing someone or getting some materials and supplies together or doing like a vision board for what I want. Whatever that one thing is a day, you know, I would just do that one thing a day. And that's keeping things simple. You're keeping the momentum going towards your dreams, but at the same time, you don't really have to like work hard. It's just about working smart. Little by little, simplify it. So if there's some kind of big goal or some kind of big dream you have right now, simplify the whole process. Don't think too far ahead and just think what is the next step, you know? And if the next step requires money or tools or materials, then your next step before that is probably finding a way to raise the funds or finding a way to get the support or finding a way to get the tools, supplies, materials. So you're never stuck, you know, keep pressing forward, think of creative ways to move forward and just simplify it. What's the next step? The angels are here for you, watching over you, your spirit guides, your higher self, um, or you can just simply think of it as you're strong, you, you're here on this earth, you're capable, you're a creative being. Uh, remember to purify yourself regularly, you know, through time just spent, you know, on your me time, whether it's just taking a nice salt bath, spending some time out in your garden, reading a positive message. This is about remembering to continue to choose positive things in your life. So you're continuing to program yourself for positive outcomes. So beautiful. Okay, real quick, go ahead and choose a number, number one, number two, or number three and we'll draw some messages for you from my Wildwood deck. So if you choose number one, here is your message. So right now, the focus for you is all about finding balance, of course. And th this is what this channel, Rainbow Harmony, is all about, finding balance and peace, right? And so how do you do that? First of all, I think it's about having a really strong connection with yourself and like acceptance and love for yourself. Finding balance means it's okay to accept yourself wherever you're at. To realize that healing is simply revealing the truth that you're already healed, you're already whole, you're already complete. Okay? So starting there. When you start there, it helps you realize you can move forward because you actually do have a great place to start. You're talented, you're gifted. You don't have to wait for your conditions to improve. You can work to improve your conditions so you can move forward is what I'm seeing. You've been kind of inside lately a lot, kind of like in your cave, almost like this hibernation mode, getting ready to really make some big choices and um, come, up with a, come up with a big idea to move forward. 
So they're saying you're on the, the right page, but you need to make sure that as you move forward, you're doing it from a balanced perspective. So whatever it takes right now for you to find your balance. And um, you can try so many different things, like maybe start with your health, um, eating more organic fruits and vegetables, getting some sunlight, getting good sleep. Maybe you can do some sound healing, you know, try listening to chakra bowls, or you could meditate or do yoga or find a, a hobby or activity or interest that you like to put your time into that makes you feel present and in your body. So this is about seeking more balance in your life. So really think about the energy that you're surrounding yourself when it comes to the people, places, things, situations, habits, addictions in your life. Ask yourself what, what needs to go and what do you need to include to find more balance. As you find that balance, you'll be moving more towards um, your goals and desires and you'll start seeing things become accomplished in your life. So the message is to start somewhere, wherever your intuition is guiding you to start. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and see what your message is if you choose number two. I think that's it. <laughs> this is kind of random, but I feel like if you choose number two, there's two messages here. First of all, I think this is a message that things are going to be okay. There might be some kind of worry or some kind of fear on your mind or something you're trying to manifest. And this is a card that things are going to be going great. I mean, this is a card that represents health, emotional harmony. In the book it says, As the glorious rays of cleansing sunlight spill into the shadows of your heart and life, so the warmth reaches into your bones and energizes your spirit. It's time to let the inner sun at the core of your being shine for all to see, bringing warmth, light, and harmony to others. So I feel like this is telling you, it, yeah, it's time to get out there. It's time to put yourself out there in the world and really radiate what your gifts and your talents are, doing the things you love to do. Don't be afraid to make new friends, to try new things, to travel, to explore. This is the horse here, which represents travel, and it can also represent freedom. And so this is just a really positive message for you right now. If there was something specific in your mind, this is also the yes card. So if you asked a yes or no question, the answer could be yes, because this is a really strong um, yes card in the deck. So wonderful. For those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message. So lots of reversals, delays, delays, delays. Things have been delayed lately. And I think this is just a message that you're in a big transition right now. The moon here is talking about manifestation. It's becoming a lot more clear after this recent season what it is that you want. So I feel like the waters are smooth. You're moving gracefully ahead towards your future. Something happened in love though. There's been some heartbreak, there's been some blockages and you really feeling like in alignment in this area. Maybe you're trying to attract a soulmate or you're trying to find harmony with a, your partner or a specific person. And so this is reverse saying like you're in transition when it comes to your love life right now too. And so it doesn't really feel like you have a lot of options on what to do because it's like you're almost waiting to move forward but I think that's what the message is here is they're saying don't wait don't hesitate keep thinking of ideas to move forward in your personal life and as you move forward with what matters to you what's important to you your desires your goals um, following your intuition the rest of this and especially your love life are going to naturally fall into place so this is like a keep on chugging message <laughs> I hope that this resonates with you and thank you guys so much again for your continued support. I hope that helped answer your questions about the coaching. And I also hope that, hope that these pick a card messages reach you as well. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.